morning, everyone. And uh, welcome. My name is Susan, and we're going to do a nice little Hatha yoga class today. So, um, everybody comfortable on their mat? Uh, if you can, if you can sit cross-legged, if you find it's really challenging to hit, sit, just sit anywhere you'd like. You can straighten your legs, it doesn't matter. All right, so um, reviewing the breathing, and I do that every class. Uh, some of you I know are familiar with the breathing, and some of you perhaps not, if you're, especially if you're new to this. So breathing is in through the nose, out through the nose. Nice, long, full, smooth breath. Inhale completely. Always try and suspend your breath for a couple of seconds. Exhale fully. This is the breath. It's very, very important. But trying to get a little rhythm going, being consistent with the breathing. So every breath you take is long and smooth. It's the same breath. The whole time we're together. So even when I'm talking and demonstrating and things like that, just keep breathing. Don't hold your breath, all right? And also listen to your body. Pay attention to how you feel, how you move. If it's something we do that's not going to feel good for you, going to aggravate a condition or, you know, cause you pain, please think about it before you try it. Come out of it if you have to. And pretty well everything we do, you can make little adjustments to find a place that works for you, that's comfortable for you. All right? And I will cue you on the breathing. I'll say the next exhale or your next exhale is when we move. We always move on the exhale. All right, so um, let's see what we can do together. So comfortable on your sit bones, back is nice and straight. So we always start the class with a couple of minutes of breathing, of pranayama. And uh, every class, I choose a different mudra, a different hand gesture. And if it's not your thing, put your hands on your lap and just breathe that way, it doesn't matter. So today we're going to sit in Gaya Mudra, index finger, represents knowledge and ability. Connect with your thumb, which represents your ego. Together, tip, palm up. Together, they impart calm, receptivity, and expansion. So close your eyes, relax your shoulders. Let's take a nice big breath together. Continue on your own personal pranayama for the next two minutes. Try and slow things down and just breathe. Now's the time to drop your day and settle your mind and to set an intention for your practice today. Focus on any situation in your life that needs guidance from your higher self. It's time to lower the heart rate, lower our blood pressure and lower our anxiety level. Try to find stillness in mind and body. One more big breath. On the next exhale, let's bring our hands together and let's rub and vigorously activate our hand chakra. Hands on your heart center, close your eyes. Let's take a nice long smooth breath together to tune out. Inhale. One more big breath. And on the exhale, let's drop three fingers, preparing for Jupiter Mudra, index fingers together, sitting tall, take a breath. And if you can, let's see if we can exhale up all the way. Right up to the ceiling. If this bothers your arms or your shoulders, bring your arms down a little lower if you need to. Sitting tall, let's wake up that physical body. Let's lengthen and release that spine. Breathe. Breathing into Jupiter Mudra, which is good luck and expansion are activated when together focus your energies on breaking through barriers for one more breath. On the exhale, release the hands, bring them down very slowly. Hands on the lap, roll the shoulders up, roll them up, roll them up. Let's go right into a twist pose from here. Right hand on the left knee, left hand behind your back. Take a breath. And on the exhale, I want you to look over the left shoulder. Gentle spinal twist. You don't have to go far. Be careful. Very gentle with your spine. If you find that you want to go deeper, you can push on your knee a bit to the right, but just be very gentle. Very gentle spinal twist, releasing the spine, keeping it strong and balanced and supple. One more breath. On the exhale, release left hand all the way over here on the right knee, right hand behind your back. Take a breath. And on the exhale, look over the right shoulder. 
And of course, anything we do that's really uncomfortable for you, don't be shy, come right out of it. Listen to your body, it'll let you know how far you need to go or how little you need to be to move. Exhale, come back. Let's inhale, arms out. Exhale up. Inhale into a gentle back bend. Or just reach up to the ceiling. One more breath. Exhale, slowly bring your arms down. Gentle with the shoulders, hands on the floor right in front of you. So from here, we're going to lean forward. So I'd like you to keep your back straight, hinging at the hips. Take a breath. And on the exhale, all I want you to do is just bend the elbows and lean forward. Now you can stay here, you can bow your head a little if you want. Now some of you are a little bit more flexible, or a little stronger if you want to come down on the forearm. And those of you who want to go even deeper, you can stretch the arms out and do it that way if you want. This is a really nice stretch, releasing the spine, the muscles up and down your back and your shoulders. So that's what I mean by finding a place that works for you. One more breath. On the next exhale, stay low and shift your body weight to the left. Weights on the left thigh, right hip on the floor. Now from here, relax the shoulders. And then you can decide on how far you need to go. Just to feel that beautiful stretch on the right side of your body. You know, some people have to, don't have to go very far to feel the stretch that they need. Some people have to go a little deeper. Everybody's a little different. So don't feel like you have to be aggressive or force your body. Not at all. Let's go to the other side. Ready? On the exhale, stay low. Shift your body weight to the right. Weights on the right thigh, left hip on the floor. Relax those shoulders and reach. Till you feel that beautiful release waking up the left side of your body. Relax the shoulders. I'm always going to tell you to do that, that's for sure. Breathe. Now while we're here, let's recognize and release the tension that we hold in our face. So I want you just to really squeeze your face and, you know, engage it. Make it as tight as you can and hold it. Let it go. Relax your facial muscles. Push the tension through your body into the ground. One more breath. Exhale, come to center. Come up slowly. Hands on the lap. Roll the shoulders up a little bit more. If your shoulders are tight, you know, a little stiff, just do what you can. We're going to do this a few more times. The more you do it, the better they feel. Releasing, recognize you're releasing the tension that we hold in the shoulders, the upper body, even into the neck. All right, so the more you do it, the better it feels. It also increases circulation in the upper body. All right, so let's keep going. So from here, um, what we're going to do here is you're going to, let me show you what we're going to do here. I'm going to give you three ways to do this one here. Of course, I've got a block. I always have a block handy. So I'm going to show you three ways you can decide on what's going to be good for you. The first, the deepest version is elbow on the floor, arms up to the ceiling. Now this is without my right sit bone coming off the floor. If that's really not going to work for you, this is where my little block comes in. I'm going to put it beside my left knee and I'm going to rest my elbow on the block. So if you can't reach the floor, we bring the floor up to you. Now if you don't have a block handy, just reach, oops, just reach out a little bit and just bend the elbow. Don't even have to put it on the floor. All right. Straight spine, right hand on the right knee, left hand into position. Let's inhale, right arm up. And exhale. Now my arm is up to the ceiling. My body is nice and straight. Arm is lined up. So try to be aware that you're not like, you know, tilted forward and all, all crooked as best you can. And those of you who want to go deeper, you can reach a little bit more to the left to get a deeper stretch. This you can do as well with your hand on your hip if that's easier for you. One more breath. Exhale, right hand to right knee. Stay in this position with the left elbow. And on the exhale, push away on the knee. Bring your right shoulder towards the left knee. Now you can keep the arm straight. If you want to soften the elbow, that's fine. So this is an upper back shoulder and all the way down. So this one here, just find the place that feels good. You don't have to go far to feel this one. And that should be good enough. One more breath. Exhale, bend the elbow and stay low. Come to center. All right, let's go to the other side. So if you're using a little helper block, take it with you. These are wonderful little things to have, as a matter of fact. And again, if you wanted to put the block in a little bit higher position, Absolutely, you can set it up whatever feels good for you, whatever you need. Left hand on the left knee, right hand on the floor. Let's go, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, 
Now remember to move your body slowly, carefully, and very gently. There's no rush, it's not a race. One more breath. Exhale, left hand to left knee. Now the exhale, push away. You give your body time to release. Just relax. One more breath. And exhale, bend the elbow, come to center, and come up slowly. Perfect. Okay, let's loosen up those legs a little bit. Now, um, we're going to get into our little butterfly or bound angle pose. So from here, uh, make sure there's room between the heels and the groin. You know, wiggle around, make sure you're nice and comfortable. So again, this particular um, stretch here, butterfly or bound angle, is releasing the inner thighs. It's a gentle hip opener, um, uh, releasing the uh, pelvic floor groin area and the tight glutes, your tight buttocks. So I'm gonna give you three ways to do this one here. So the deepest version is hands on the ankles, elbows on the knees, and I'm leaning forward. Now, if that's a little too intense for you, if you wanna just sit like this, you don't have to do anything. Just sit like this, keep your back straight, hang out here. But if you'd like to try another way, put your hands on the floor beside your hips, bring the shoulder blades together gently as you're sitting in this position, and you can do it that way. When you do it this way, if you choose this particular um, position, you get a nice extra stretch into your chest while you're doing this. You're going to bring your shoulder blades together just a little bit if you do it that way. All right, so make sure your back is straight, head is level with your spine. We're always hinging at the hips, so take a breath. And exhale. Now those of you who are leaning forward, a little bit of pressure on the knees is okay, but not a lot. Don't slam down on the knees. Think about leaning forward more until you find the place that's just right. You always find the place maybe they call it your edge, where you really don't need to go any further. All right. One more breath. Exhale, come up very, very slowly. All right. Knees together. Now, Straighten the left leg. What I'd like you to do is to bring the right foot into the cusp of the left knee. Um, you can put it along the calf if you prefer. You don't have to have it any higher. That's a whole other move that we're not doing today. So what we're gonna do here now is called the shooting bow. So this one here, we're gonna be focusing on the left leg, the hamstring, the back of the leg, the knee, and the calf. Make sure the toes are pointing up to the ceiling and the left leg is lined up to the hip and it's not sticking up too far to the left. So let me show you this one here. I'm going to take my left hand. I'm going to put it gently on my right foot. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick demo. I'm going to reach out with the right arm with the straight spine, of course. I'm going to inhale up, and I'm going to exhale. I'm going to reach, and I'm going to come way over here. I'm going to grab my toe. You can grab your shin, your ankle, your knee, wherever you can reach. When you get into this position, your back will round slightly. That's okay, all right? You start with the straight spine, and then as you reach, your back will round. So this is called a shooting bow. So again, left hand, just put it gently on your foot. Reach out with the right arm with the straight spine. Ready? Inhale, right arm up. And exhale as you lean. Wherever you can reach. Don't force, if you can't reach your toe, don't worry about it. And those of you who can reach your toe, if you want an extra stretch in the right upper body, point your toe. That's a bonus stretch, that one. One more breath. Exhale, release, push yourself up very gently. All right, let's try the other side. So let's straighten the right leg. Again, make sure it's lined up with your hip and it's not sticking out too far to the right. And left foot's in the cusp of the wiggle around, make sure you're comfortable. Now put the foot in the cusp of the knee or along the calf, that's fine. Right hand gently, just put it on your foot, your left foot very carefully. Straight spine, always reach out with the left arm. Let's go, inhale up, and exhale. And let's focus on the left, on the right leg now, getting that nice little hamstring stretch. Shooting bow, one more breath. Exhale, come up very, very slowly. All right, now let's straighten that left leg. Now I want you to roll. Roll the shoulders out. All right, I'm just going to my paper here. Okay, so this is our staff pose. This is a very neutral place. So we're going to work some hands and feet. I'm going to work our eyes today as well. 
So again, being aware of your posture, sitting nice and tall, let's point those toes. All right. Left hand only today, reach out with the left hand, fingers rolling, bend up the wrist and slightly turn out to the baby finger. Now focus on the forearm, relax that shoulder. So now we're just gonna start lengthening, releasing, decompressing, stretching out the extensor muscles on the top of the forearm, the wrist and the hand. And as you're pointing your toes, you get a little stretch on the top of your foot. So we're doing all kinds of things. Um, one more breath. Exhale, straight, bring it up. Right fingertips on the left and bring it back gently. Getting that beautiful release and stretch into the hand, the fingers, the hands, and all the way, the wrist and the flexor muscles. One more breath. Exhale, release, left hand on the left. Now I want you to relax your feet. You can keep your feet where they are, your heels on the floor, but if you want a little extra calf stretch, you can get your heels off the floor if you want to try that. That's optional. Let's go to this side, right hand. Fingers are open, bend at the wrist and slightly turn out. Focus on the wrist and the forearm, relax that shoulder. Breathe. One more breath. Exhale, straighten hand, bring it up, bring it back. And of course, some stretches, you know, if you find you're comfortable in it and you want to go deeper, absolutely. But if you want to move a little bit, that's okay too. You're still getting the same stretch. And release. Heels on the floor, they're off the floor. All right. And relax. Now, let's work those fingers. So what we're going to do today is all I want you to do is you're going to fold your hands very slowly into a loose fist. You can wrap your thumb around and you're going to open them up. But I want you to go very, very slowly, like super slow motion. And this way, you're really focusing on articulating all the little joints. All right. So again, take it easy. Let's see what we can do with our hands. Sitting tall. Ready? Take your breath. And exhale. Very, very slowly. And if you think about it, it's not very often that you move your hands slowly. Our hands are always busy. So let's really take care of our fingers. Now get into a loose fist. Just a loose fist. Hold it. And slowly release. Open them up gently. And then stretch them out. And then from here, let them hang. Roll them around. Play a little piano. All right, lovely. And then shake it out, shake them out. Okay, so let's go down to our feet. So today, all we're gonna do is a plantar flexion. You're gonna push your foot forward and you're gonna bring it back. That's it, four times. So really focusing on the ankle, the foot, the lower leg muscles, all right, and the toes, of course. So the position of your arms, you can put your hands beside your hips. But some people like to kind of lean, you know, lean back and relax and do it that way. But make sure your back is always straight when you do these things and your neck is long and you're looking forward. Ready? Inhale, push it forward. Focus on exactly what you're doing, the part of the body you're working with right now. The rest of your body is calm and relaxed. Might even have a little smile on your face. And that's it. Relax. Now play a little piano. Even if you have socks on, play a little piano. Roll the ankles. And if you want to add the hands and the fingers, you can go a little faster if you want. Perfect. Now. We're going to take a little pause here and we're going to work our eyes a little bit today. So sitting nice and tall. So again, being aware of your posture, just relax your body. So let's focus on our eyes. So this particular is our yoga for our eyes. So it's uh, to relax the tight muscles around the eyes. And it creates, helps create more range of motion in your vision. Helps to stimulate neural activity. And also a little, um, a little boost for your eyes if they get tight. All right, so sitting tall, relax your whole body. Take a breath in on the exhale. All I want you to do is look up. Keep blinking, not your head, not your face, just your eyes. One more breath. Exhale, bring your vision to center, close your eyes, take a little rest. And open. We're gonna look to the left. So take a breath in on the exhale, just turn your eyes. If you think of it, not very often that you just move your eyes. Usually you move your neck and your head, but not today. Huh. One more breath. Exhale, bring your vision to center. Close your eyes. Take a little rest. 
open. We're going to look down. Take a breath on the exhale, look down. Breathe. Bring your vision to center. Close your eyes. Open. We're going to look to the right. Exhale, look. Keep blinking. You can, you can blink all you want. On the exhale, bring your vision to center. Close your eyes. And open. All right. We're going to do that again, but we're going to do all four positions. And we're going to do them all on each, every time we exhale. So it's going to be a little bit faster. So you can do like a little circle with your eyes. And you ready? Inhale up. Inhale to the left. So you're taking a full inhale and a full exhale with each movement. Inhale down. To the right. Inhale. One last time up. Inhale up. And Center, close, rest, and open. All right, beautiful. Roll the shoulders out. Okay, let's start moving. Let's get into our tables, and now we're going to get onto our hands and knees. So, now, in my classes, I always provide some little extra padding. This is actually a Pilates mat that I've cut up. So, um, it's, sometimes it makes it all the difference for comfort, especially for your knees or your wrists. So if you need extra padding, you can always use a little, a very skinny pillow, a blanket, or a towel, all right? So this is our table position. So again, uh, being aware of your alignment, ankle to knee, knee to hip, knees are hip distance apart, arms are lined up, head is level with your spine. Let's work our spine a bit more. Cat and cow, ready? Inhale, head up, sacrum up, C scoop, spine. Exhale, arch the back, chin to chest, belly button to spine. Keep going, follow the rhythm of breath, come all the way up. Really working on flexibility, lengthening, releasing that tight spine, working on upper body, and this is a beautiful, or upper back, I should say, this is a really nice stretch for your lower back. Keep going up. You get a stretch into your abdominals, into your belly, into your chest when you come up, and exhale. Let's do one more, and up. Breath in motion, meditation in motion, cat and cat. From here, bring yourself to straight, neutral spine. We're gonna go right into our child's pose from here. Open up the knees a bit wider if you need to, and if you can, I'd like you to lean back. Now, child's pose, make sure your head and your neck are supportive. You can rest them on your stacked fists. You can rest them on your block if you want, on your stacked hands or on the floor. Make sure the head and the neck are properly supported so you can rest your whole body. So this is our child's pose, Balasana. It's a resting place, a neutral place, and a wonderful full body stretch. So let's take this time right now to thank ourselves for being here today. Taking the time and making the time to be on our mat, to step away from everything. Find that place of sanctuary, of tranquility on your mat. No thoughts, no cares, no worries, no anxieties, no demands here. It's just you. This is all about you. This is why you're here. For whatever reason brings you here. Maybe you want a little stretch. Maybe you just want to just turn your brain off for a while and slow things down. One more breath. Exhale. Come back up to table. All right, so we're gonna get up to mountain from here. So everybody up and off the floor any way that you can. Let's get up off the floor. All right, now, this is our mountain tap to Zana. Standing nice and tall, again, being aware of your posture. Let your arms hang, roll the shoulders out. Shake your hands out a little bit, shake those legs out if you need to. Let's get all the kinks out, all right? so. Now we're nice and warmed up. We got a lot of wonder, wonderful things to do today. So let's just take a little break into our mountain before we start moving a little bit more. So arms are to the side of the body. 
Feet are anchored to the floor. Again, always being aware of your posture. Let's just breathe. When you're aware of your posture, the breathing is so much easier. If you find that you're always rounding your shoulders and bowing your head, you know, then your chest is compressed. You can't take that breath. So stand tall, bring the shoulders back and just breathe. Take the breath. The breathing, the breath is soothing, it's calming, it's balancing, it's so cleansing. One more. Okay, so we're going to start with our tree pose today. So a little bit of a balanced position. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do, and I'll give you a modified a plan B as well. So with the tree pose, um, this would be the preparation for it. I'm going to start with my right leg. So let me show you first. So again, if you can, the foot's along the ankle, the calf, or you can have it all the way out here. Now, if you find that's really not going to happen for you, just get your foot off the floor. Don't worry about it, okay? So this is all about the stability and the strength of the left foot, the left leg. So again, whenever we do balance positions, a little tip to help you is to stare at a spot on the floor in front of you. Don't look at anybody else or anything around. Stare at that spot. It helps a lot, all right? So make sure your left foot is nice and anchored to the floor. Standing tall, don't overthink it. Just do what you can. And again, if you can't do this, just get your foot off the floor, all right? So that being said, are you ready? Big breath and exhale. Hands can come out here like the branches in a tree. You can have them here in a master prayer pose, or if you're feeling extra balanced, you can come all the way up here. Tree Arikisana. One more breath. Exhale and down slowly. Coming to the very top of the mat, take a breath. And on the exhale, step back, right leg, preparing for a pyramid. Back leg is nice, wide step, back foot's on an angle, left leg nice and straight. Do your little test, make sure you're anchored to the floor. If you have socks, I'll be very aware of how, how you feel so you're not too slippery. Hips are square, inhale out. Exhale, big breath. Exhale, hinging up the hips, fold over, pyramid. Engage pyramid on the knee, or you can go all the way down. This is a very deep hamstring stretch. I'm just gonna turn around so you can see what I'm doing. Preparing for crescent lunge. On the exhale, bend the knee, hands together, inhale up. On your lunge. Now, you can have your arms up to the ceiling if you want to go a little further back. This is really going to challenge your balance, crescent lunge. Warrior two, exhale, straighten spine, left arm to the front, right to the back. Your body will turn slightly to the right, looking at the tips of the left fingers. Relax the shoulders, back is straight, feet are anchored to the floor. Breathe. One more breath. Exalted warrior, on the exhale, right hand on the small of the back, left arm comes up. Keep your lunge. Relax those shoulders. Reverse warrior, on the exhale, keep the left hand arm where it is, bring the right hand, put it on the back of the leg. Now, you can stay here. Some of you want to go deeper. You can slide down a bit further if you want. It's up to you. Be very aware of how balanced and stable your feet are. Humble warrior. On the exhale, straighten spine. Both hands behind your back. Take a breath. On the exhale, turn your body in front of the left leg. And exhale, fold over. And you can go a little lower or come up a little higher. It doesn't matter. This is our humble warrior. This is an opportunity to have a look at your lunge. Make sure the knee is lined up right over the ankle. From here, we're going to do a twisted warrior. On the exhale, stay in this position. Release the hands. Bring them in front. Namaste prayer pose. We're going to twist to the right. On the exhale, right elbow up, left one down. Twisted warrior. Now from here, we're going to try our lizard. On the exhale, 
I want you to come down, hands on the floor, on the inside of the right, le left leg. Take the right one, slide it down all the way. Keep going, keep going. Now, left lunge is the same. I'm bringing my hip down. If this is too intense, put your knee on the floor. Don't overdo it. This is our lizard. Very deep stretch for the left thigh, the hip, lizard. One more breath. Preparing for downward dog from here. If you can, on the exhale, down dog. Mountain from here, take a few steps, come up. Very slowly, all the way up. All right, shake it out, roll it out. Let's do it again. We're going to do this side now. Everybody okay? We're going to do exactly the same thing. So, starting with our tree, left leg. Just relax. Make sure the right foot's anchored, preparing for tree pose, left. Again, if you find it challenging, just get your foot off the floor. Ready? Take a breath. Exhale. One more breath, exhale down. Oops, I almost lost it there, come down. You know, when you work with our balance, our tree poses, coming to the top of the mat, some days it works, some days it doesn't. So if you find your little wobbly some days and it's just not working, don't overthink it. Skip it, try again another time, all right? That's why we practice yoga, all right? Prepare for pyramid left leg, take a breath. On the exhale, back, step back. Then make sure you adjust yourself so that you're anchored to the floor. Back is always on an angle. Left leg's nice and straight. Do your test. Make sure you're nice and stuck to the floor. Let's get into pyramid. Inhale up and exhale. Big breath. Exhale, hinging up the hips. Fold over. Both hands on the knee. Or you can go a little further down. Whatever uh, feels good for you. Again, this is a really nice hamstring stretch. Warrior two from here on the exhale, bend the knee, come up, right arm to the front, left to the back. Looking at the tips, I'm gonna go this side so you can see what I'm doing here. Straight, you're gonna straighten your spine. Look at the tips of the right fingers. Crescent lunge, windmill, left arm down, hands up. Now you can stay here if you want to go into a bit of a crescent. You can lean back a little bit if you like. Straighten spine, exalted warrior. Left hand on the small of the back, right arm stays up. Exalted warrior. So when you do your warrior float, most people tend to look up to the ceiling, which is fine. But if you find your neck gets tired, just straighten your head and just bring your eyes up. Reverse warrior, left hand on the back of the leg, right arm stays where it is. And again, if you want to go deeper, you can slide down further if you'd like. Try to keep your body nice and straight, being aware of your alignment. Humble warrior, exhale, straighten spine, both hands behind the back, take a breath. Exhale, turn in front of the right leg. And on the next exhale, fold over. Humble warrior. Preparing for twisted warrior. On the exhale, bring the hands into Namaste prayer pose. We're gonna to twist to the left on the exhale. Just go as far as comfortable. Remember, this is a challenging your balance as well. Strength of the legs, ankles, feet. Now, we're gonna try and get into our lizard again. On the exhale, come straighten your body, hands on the floor, on the inside. Stretch that left leg out. Come down as low as you can. Bring your knee on the floor if it's too much. Now, if you ever wanted to go deeper in the lizard, you can bend the elbows and come down a little lower if you want. 
Downward dog from here, ready? On the exhale, down dog. Make your little adjustments. Balance that weight from the hands to the feet. Tail is up high, back is straight, head hanging down. Let's get up to mountain. Take a few steps. Come back up very slowly so you don't get dizzy. Roll the shoulders out. Back to mountain. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale into a back bend. Ragdoll. Soften the knees, hinging up the hips. Swan dive down and hang out. And just let it all go. Keep your knees soft. You can go as low as you want. Come up a little higher. Be careful this doesn't make you dizzy. One more breath. From here, we're going to get into table to so come down very slowly. Let's do a couple of cat and cows. Everybody okay? Let's go. Inhale up. And again, up. From here, table, neutral spine. So now I want you to get onto your back very gently and slowly. So carefully, let's lay down, all right? So I'm gonna do a couple of things from here now. All the way onto your back. Adjust your back and shoulders, make sure you're nice and comfortable. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to work some hips from here. So these are called knee circles, but it's actually a hip circle. So I'm going to show you two ways to do this one here. So let me give you a quick demo. This particular position is called the table. So I'm going to start with the right leg. I'm going to inhale around, exhale, pause. Now, this is all about mobility, range of motion of the hip. So be very gentle. If your hip gives you some grief, you know, take it easy. We're going to do four one direction. We're just doing one direction. So you can pick the direction you want to work with. Again, the size of the circle doesn't matter. You're still using the same muscles. If you're a little stronger and you want to do a really big circle, absolutely. But if you do that, make sure your body doesn't wiggle around. All right. I don't want any movement. You are anchored to the floor. The only thing moving is the hip, the leg and the hip. Now again, if you prefer to keep your left foot on the floor and just focus on the right leg, that's fine. You can do that as well. And if it's really uncomfortable, try it. Come out of it right away. Don't be shy. Adjust your back and shoulders. Put your arms wherever you want them to be. Legs into table or put the left foot on the floor if you're doing it that way. Ready? Let's go. Inhale around. Follow the breath. Inhale around. Exhale, center. So focusing on the muscles around the hip, keep going, but also working the uh, quads, the hamstring, pelvic floor muscles, the glutes, abdominals, lower back, a lot of stuff going on. Our legs are pretty heavy. Let's do one more. Round. Put it down. Take a second, just take a breath, relax. Let's go to the other side right away. Back, back to table. Again, if you prefer to keep your right foot on the floor, do that if you need to. Left one, go. Inhale around. Concentrate. Focus on what you're doing. The only thing moving is the leg. The rest of your body is completely relaxed and still. One more. Round. Go right into your hug. Give yourself a big hug now. And rock from side to side. So lengthening, releasing your spine, this gives you a little back massage. This is a nice stretch for your legs and your hips as well. Now you get the closer your knees are to your chest, the deeper the stretch gets. So rock and breathe. And when you get to the left, if you'd like to do some little circles, just really releasing that lower back a little bit more. Little circles. And if you'd like to go to the right, little circles. All right, so we're going to do another nice a little one that's a little bit tougher, but we're going to see what we can do together. Uh, we're going to see if we can get our legs up to the ceiling. All right, 
Now this one here, having your legs up to the ceiling is working a lot of abdominal strength. So I'm going to show you what we're going to try and do, and I'll give you an, a modified version. This is called a scissor. So what you're going to do is you can inhale, heel down, and you're going to point your toe up. Now, you can go as low as comfortable. If you're not very strong, just do a small movement. If you're a little stronger, you can go a little more, and some people can go all the way down. All right? So be very careful. We're going to do a three on both sides. Actually, what we're going to do is you're going to, it's a scissor. You can do one leg, come up, then you can do the other. Okay? Now, if you find this is really going to be challenging, if you don't have the core strength, bend your knees and just do it this way. If this is easier to bend your knees, just bend your knees. Don't worry about it. You're still using the same muscles. So that being said, legs up. <clears throat> Adjust your back and shoulders. Put your arms up. Make sure you're anchored to the floor. Right leg, go. Inhale, heel down. Point the toe up. Nice and slow. If it's too intense, like I said, to reduce your movement, you don't have to go as far as I go. Of course not. <laughs> Keep going. Lots of power, lots of abdominal strength. Our legs are really heavy. And we're going to do one more on both sides. And that's it. Bend. Feet on the floor slowly. Straighten the left leg only. We're going to do a single leg stretch now. Keep the right one bent. On the exhale, bring up the right knee only and then give that one a nice big hug. Try to catch that breath. If you feel you've lost track of your breath, slow it down. Get it going. Sometimes that happens. But as you get out in your practice, you're going to find that the breathing will become a little more consistent and every breath will be the same, long and smooth. So let's go to the other leg. On the exhale, release. Straighten the right leg as you bend the left one. Adjust your back and shoulders. And on the exhale, bring up that left one. And again, adjust to where it feels best. If you want to have a deeper stretch, bring it closer to your chest. If you want to just give it a little hug. It's up to you. You'll know when you get to the right place. This is just part of cooling the body down now. And foot on the floor. I want you to bend the right knee. Let's do reclining bound angle pose. So feet together. If you can, let your knees fall open. And put your arms out wherever you want them to be. And just breathe. And think about how you feel right now. Your body's getting heavier and heavier with each exhale. This is our reclining bound angle pose. So another beautiful stretch for the inner thighs, for the hips, the glutes, pelvic floor area as well. One more breath. Exhale, bring them together. Use your hands, bring them together all the way. Now, I want you to keep your knees bent. We're going to do a twist pose from here today. So inhale, arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, let them fall shoulder height. Now, on the next exhale, if you can, I want you to drop your knees to the left. You can look over the right shoulder. If you need to straighten your legs for comfort, absolutely. Now, they don't necessarily have to touch the floor. Just let them fall wherever they need to be. This is a gentle spinal twist, but also you get an extra stretch into the right hip area. One more breath. On the exhale, very slowly bring them up. Adjust your shoulders and your neck for comfort and let's try the other side. If you can, on the exhale, drop your knees to the right, look over the left shoulder, straighten your legs a little if you need to. For one more breath. On the next exhale, I want you to bring your knees up very slowly and I want you to straighten them one at a time. Inhale, arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, let them fall over your head. Make sure they land on the floor. And I want you to stretch your body out now. Fingertips to the tips of your toes. Make yourself long and tall. Now, if this bothers your shoulders, put your arms wherever 
feels better. You can move your arms if you need to. But I want you just to let your body rest, stretch. And every time you exhale, feel your body getting heavier and heavier. Just melting right into that mat, feeling so calm right now and peaceful and tranquil. Maybe find that little place of sanctuary on your mat. In support for relaxation, you have a tension-free body and a tension-free mind. All that energy is flowing, energy which is our life force. For one more breath. On the next exhale, I'd like you to bring your hands to the side of your body, palms facing the ceiling. Hands are open to receive guidance from your higher self. And let's prepare for our closing savasana, meditation, relaxation, reflection time. However, you choose to bring this into your practice today, resting comfortably in your corpse pose. Now, normally I'd give you the option, you know, to bend your knees or some like people like to lay on their side, but today I'd like you to lay flat um, for our, our uh, meditation, our relaxation today. So just lay, stay where you are. And now that you're resting in Savasana, let's take a minute to thank ourselves for our practice today. Having taken this opportunity to, to offer yourself the gift of yoga, let's rest and let our bodies absorb the benefit of our practice and spend the next few minutes filtering the last of tension and negative energies and let it sink right into the mat, right into the ground. Any remaining tension can continue to leave your body as you breathe, becoming more and more relaxed as the time passes. This amazing power of calm relaxation is entering both of your feet now, moving up your legs, into your thighs, into your hips, relaxing all the muscles as it goes. Now the power comes into the feeling of both of your hands at the same time. Relaxing your hands, it is now moving up into your forearms and relaxing your forearms. Feeling heavy now with relaxation, moving up into your upper arms. Just relaxing your upper arms and into your fingers, your hands, and your upper arms are all completely relaxed. And now you notice the power continuing at the base of your spine. Feel the warmth at the base of your spine. Moving slowly up your spine, relaxing all the muscles up your back along the way. Your neck and your shoulder muscles are becoming very loose and limp, feeling the warm relaxation spread all over in every way. You are noticing how all the tension is now flowing gently and easily away from you. Warm sensations of relaxation are spreading up towards your scalp area, relaxing your scalp and letting go, feeling a deep, deep relaxation gently guiding you into a state of total relaxation and surrender. Feeling this wonderful energy of love, peace, and tranquility. Your facial muscles are completely relaxed with ease now as you feel the flow of heavy relaxation spread down your face. Notice how each muscle along the way is letting go, becoming aware of how wonderful your entire body feels in this deep, relaxed state. Let's take a few minutes to explore our breath and to experience the peace that comes with relaxing body, mind, and soul. Let's take some time to embrace the silence in the room and in our minds and find that place within ourselves that speaks to us, where the stillness within holds the proper questions and all of our answers, our truth and our identity. Sat now. Let your body, your mind, and your soul absorb the vibrations of the bells, bringing your own energies to its appropriate frequency. Now, before you bring yourself to a seated position, let's do a gentle neck stretch while you're laying there. So let's see your body's nice and relaxed, your shoulders are nice and loose. Let's see if we can release any leftover tension we might have in your neck. Remember the neck muscles are very tiny. It doesn't take a lot for them to be compressed, but it doesn't take a lot for them to, to release them either. 
So let's see if we can get a beautiful stretch into the neck, gently of course, releasing the nerves, the blood vessels. Take a breath. And the muscles, of course, on the exhale, if you can, turn your head to the left. And as you get a beautiful, gentle little release, you're increasing, uh, getting fresh blood flow into your brain, increasing oxygenation, helping with your memory, your decision making, your thought process. One more breath. Exhale, come to center. And on your next exhale, if you'd like, turn your head to the right. And just getting that beautiful, gentle release of the left side of the neck. Breathe. One more breath. On the exhale, come to center slowly. Lovely. All right, let's do a shoulder shrug. Take a breath. While you're laying there, now all I want you to do is bring your shoulders up and hug your ears with your shoulders. You should be able to do it when you're laying down. Squeeze. And then let it go. Release the shoulders. Let it go. That feels nice. Now I'd like you to bring yourself back into the room, back into your space. Bring life back to your body. Wiggle your fingers and toes. And when you're ready, very slowly and carefully and very gently bring yourself up to our cross-legged Sukhasana position or any seated position that's comfortable for you. Um, take your time. I know it's hard to get off the floor. Nice and slowly. Back is straight, shoulders are relaxed. Let's bring our hands together. Let's rub and vigorously activate our hands. Chakra. Hands onto your heart center. Close your eyes. And let's take a nice, long, smooth breath together to tune in. Inhale. One more big breath. Shanti, shanti. Peace, peace. May love and light be with you always. Namaste. All right, we're all done. Mm, that was wonderful. Nicely done, everyone. Beautiful. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that because I sure did. Um, sometimes it's all you need. It's just a little bit of stretching, you know, just an opportunity to slow things down and step away. And that's exactly what I'm trying to offer you here. So again, thank you for joining me. And it's a beautiful sunny day here. So um, if you can, try and get some fresh air, get some sun on your face, put your sunscreen on, of course and to find something that makes you happy, but keep moving. And uh, again, thank you for joining me. And uh, for those of you who do come to my classes, we're still waiting for our building to be completed. The renovations are taking a little bit longer than they anticipated, but you know what? You're at the mercy of the construction. So we'll just see what we can do and uh, hopefully things will work out soon enough. So in that case, thanks again. Have a wonderful day and uh, we'll see you again soon. My name is Susan, by the way.